Before I started doing all this fitness stuff, I used to be Fathoms. <gasps> Fathoms is different for everybody, don't get me twisted. But for me, Fathoms was size 20 and 90 kg. Yeah, I think that's Fathoms for everybody. When I was about 12, I was like 75 kilos. That's big for a 12 year old. But you know in South Africa, people used to praise me for my nyash and I used to love it, love it. When I turned 13, we moved to Singapore. And you know Asian bitches are like this small. And I went to a German school. They like this tall and this small. I just felt like insecurity you know I used to just like be down on myself because I'm like the, I'm the only black person in my school and I'm fathoms like what must happen something that started off as an insecurity after a while it got deeper like I used to just be sad about it I used to start hating myself and then it was like depression the thing is when I was still younger before I went back to my mom's but then my mom was actually the one who was like I think you're depressed because like this is not normal you know what I'm saying I knew I was sad all the time and like I knew there was something going on but then I was like let people don't get depressed girl <laughs> Stop it. Stop. Bless my mom. She really tried because she thought, okay, let me help you to try and achieve your goal and lose a bit of weight because then you might be happier. So she got me a personal trainer, nutritionist, everything. Thing is, I used to go straight from the gym with the personal trainer and go under my bed, girl, because I used to have some snacks under my bed. Oh my God. Oh my God. Um. Guys, don't get me. When I say I used to have food under my bed, I had Pringles, I had chocolates, I had nuts, I had any names, I had everything. You name it! It was a tuck shop under there. After a couple of months, I guess my mom noticed I wasn't losing any weight. In fact, I was gaining weight. She decided to trick me into going to a therapist. She told me we was going somewhere else. Girl, I thought we were going shopping. Next thing, eh, eh. At that point, it's just like, okay, I'm here now. Okay, let's talk, okay? Let's discuss. So she spoke to me about all my issues. I ain't gonna tell you about all those. The main thing was that I was depressed and I didn't even know about it. I just thought I was sad. I was just a sad bitch. I went a couple of times because I started liking it a little bit. You know, you have somebody to talk to about things that you don't really tell other people. Maybe you don't want them to feel bad or guilty or whatever. You know, it was about to be my graduation and I remember I just decided I'm gonna lose weight now. And I didn't tell my mom, I didn't tell anyone I was just gonna do some Beyonce overnight shit. Okay. Started doing insanity, I started watching my diet, and I stuck with it, and I lost, like, some weight. Okay. Tell you a backstory about my personality, because people meet me and they like, Tasha, your personality is this, nice. <laughs> Thank you. But, um, it's actually because... I was fathoms. Thing is, I was so depressed at the time and I was harboring in so much that I overcompensated by being so loud and being like, Ugh. This is from when I was younger. It was like, I decided that I'm not gonna be the prettiest, I'm not gonna be the skinniest, but I'm gonna have the best personality because I can't afford not to be funny. After I lost the weight, I was just genuinely happy. Like, I, it wasn't a facade anymore. Don't get it twisted. I'm not saying weight loss is gonna make you happy. That was my struggle. That's what I was going through. But what I'm saying is depression can stop you from doing other things that you want to do. Don't even notice that you have this mental barrier that's like harboring your potential. Because when my mom wanted me to lose weight, I wasn't ready to, so I got fat. Only after I confronted the issues that I had, I decided I'm gonna lose weight for me. I didn't tell anybody, and it wasn't because I hated my body anymore, it's because I loved myself that I wanted to be healthy. The main thing that I would say is that being sad all the time is not normal. Life is supposed to be happy at least 90% of the time. So I personally encourage selfishness in the sense that I want you to love your yourself enough to take care of yourself whether it's weight loss you know going forward academically or like in your career relationships anything don't let depression hold you back get help